I know you want plenty of info, guys. If you want to ask Gareth these questions first so we can move on, because obviously these guys have just done a lot. They've done 100 minutes, pretty much. So if you can do his questions first and let him get away, that'd be great. Please. Gareth, have you ever had more important kicks in your life than just what was the sense of the second one? Um... It's hard, it's hard to gauge. If I'm being honest, you know, the, the kicks in the championship final were pretty big as well because we wouldn't have days like this without that. Um, uh, you know, the kicks for me, it was just, you know, the, the guys did really well. They, they earned the rights to get the pens and uh, thankfully, you know, uh, if I'm being honest, I said a prayer to my, my old man uh, up, upstairs and he helped me with the last one, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm really delighted with that. Did you believe six, seven seasons ago, seven years ago when you were promoted that you'd end up in this period of time topping the table and, and winning the whole thing? Um, I suppose whenever we first got promoted, if I'm being all, absolutely honest, probably not. Um, to have days like this was probably, we were just, we'd never played in the Premiership, so it was kind of ga hard to gauge what it would have been to to be in days like today. And But I think after the way the guys performed last year, you know, we had a bit of a taste for it. And uh, we, we had a very similar squad that we had last year coming into this year. and. Thankfully, at, just before Christmas, we, we, we sat down and we, we said to ourselves, you know, we're going to have to really get a, get a grip if we want to go back to those days. And we got ourselves right before Christmas and we're delighted now to be sitting where we are right today. Gareth, which, um, which kick had the most pressure? The one to take it to extra time the one to win? Um, well, they're all pretty much pressure, you know. Uh, to be honest with you, um, we were quite thankful they were in reasonable positions. Um, I just had to go through my processes and go through my technique and just, you know, hopefully it would stand up stand up firm and it did today. Gareth, for the club, for the fans, for this incredible kind of journey over the last few years, it's just really evident out there, isn't it, how much it means to just to everybody? Yeah, it means a lot to a lot of people. There's a lot of people who have worked hard over years and even before I came to the club, those guys have grafted to get the club into into the premiership and then to go forward and to get into to to see the amount of support we had today was unbelievable and uh, it's it's great that we can share that with them. Um, the graft that we've put in over the you know years and years of hard work, right from the top down, it's 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 for days like today, and we're absolutely thrilled. And for the fitness and the camaraderie of the team to have seen yourself go from what 14-3 up to 2014 down, then be the sort of the dominant team in extra time. So much goes into being able to do that, isn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was a tough uh, you know it was emo emotionally the highs of the game and the lows that we had to go through. We always back ourselves as a fit team anyway. Excuse me, and uh, you know we got ourselves into just before half time was probably a real bad time to let let Wasp score, and then obviously another side of half time, and you're kind of going, oh, it could be a tough day. But we, we knuckled down, and we knew what our strengths were. We knew our carrying game was good. And we knew we could we could dent them, and uh, you know we did, and we stuck at it for the full eighty, and then obviously into this into the you know just the score, just the way we did probably mentally hurt them a little bit, and then we got ourselves into a good place going into this you know into extra time, and you know we probably dominated the the, the extra time from there. What's been the, uh, the driving factors behind this year on the improvement? Yeah, it's just I suppose ultimately whenever we turned around, I think we were patting ourselves in the back in pre-season. You know how well we did, and I think whenever we just we probably rolled into the season. I know Rob's talked about that, but we probably did roll into the season for being honest with ourselves. And we did sit down after a Clermont game, after a hiding at home, and we sort of said, look, we need to, you know, this season's going to peter out for us if we don't, you know, get our heads down. And we had a few harsh words, and then we we just grafted it out, and we got, you know, we probably we performed. We, you know, we didn't change anything drastically, we just sort of got ourselves into it and then we got into a good run of form and thankfully, you know, it's, it's led us to today. Are there any similarities between this team, the one which is in the championship, five, six years ago, mm -hmm. same sort of feelings? Uh, it's the fight, you know, the fight's been there, the fight's always been in, in bread and lettuce, uh, the culture, the club, you know, the guys that got us in, got us promoted that uh, seven years ago. And, you know, it, we've just added quality to the squad and experience as well, you know, there's guys still, you know, playing. And we've only got better through as a group, and uh, we've added bits of quality to it. And guys have come in and bought into that. And uh, you know, with you know, when you've got likes of Jeff Parling coming in, you, proven winners, and <laughs> Thomas Waldron, these guys have won in the in this environment before now. And for us now, we've got ourselves into that place now, and it's it's a great feeling. Yeah, the TMO chart, uh, TMO. Uh, television, did it? Did you feel the ball went over the line because all the players are celebrating? And it looked like a try, but after about four minutes, it wasn't. Did you feel it went over the line? 
It's hard to say. Um, Sam thought he scored, but um, there was no, you know, the, I think the question was try yes or no. And if uh, if there's no conclusive evidence, then you know we can't go anything by that. But we were in the right part of the field. We felt our scrum was going really well, and uh, it was. It was on top. And uh, fair play to the boys up front. That's you know they've won that penalty there, and then it's up to me to stand up and hit it in a straight line. Thankfully, it did. Can you remember what Rob's original sales pitch was to you to come to Exeter, what you felt you and the club could achieve? It was Pete Drew actually yeah. who uh, sold it to me. Uh, <laughs> Rob was the forwards coach whenever I arrived. Uh, look, whenever I first arrived, I was uh, you know I was in a different place. Whenever I was at Cornish Parrots, uh, you know I just lost my father and stuff, and then uh, it was it felt a wee bit closer to home because uh, the airport was pretty close, so it was easy to get home. But the the um, the the vision of the club. You could see it in, in everything that was doing. It was all, it was a place that was going to go forward. It was just a matter of when it would take a step. And I did a couple of seasons in the championship with the, with the club, and we installed some really good uh, values. And uh, but the values were there at the time, and you, I was just one of the guys who came in and had to buy into it. And uh, it went from there. And you know, thankfully now we're sitting the days like today. Good. Everyone finished with Gareth. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers.